Hi guys, Money Game here. Hope you're all well. And today I thought I'd have a quick look at my setup for you guys. And well, the setup from the other side of the screen. I'm not going to go too in depth. If there's anything more that you want to know about, say for instance the uh, the hot air setup down there, um, or my pros and cons of the wheel, then ask me and I will do a video about these these items. So I'm just going to quickly show you what they are and. Um, yeah, just show you my setup, really. So first of all, most importantly, I have a reasonably decent PC here. Um, it's a couple of years old now and still chugging away. I'll put a link up here of uh, its exact set, like, specs. Um, the best thing about this setup is the box. Looks huge, is huge, but the benefit of that is, look at all that lovely space and look at all that lovely airflow. It's lovely and cool in there. The graphics card is not even spinning up. I know I'm not doing anything on screen right now, but it's not even spinning up. So, shows you how good that is, really. Then I've got my Xbox One, of course. I have my wired con wireless controller, sorry. I've got my HD60 under there with my Logitech speaker control. Um, and an external hard drive, just a Toshiba hard drive. Gives me uh, one terabyte. Um, I've got my Thrustmaster Warthog a, a, sorry, A10C Warthog uh, replica flight sticks. I use these for playing Frontier Elite Dangerous. If you're interested in watching me play that, let me know below and I will do a video of me playing. Uh, I can also do a video of, of reviewing this if you're interested. Uh, and then my prize possessions. So, I've got uh, the GT Omega race wheel stand. This is a brilliant bit of kit again. I'll give you a link up here to when I unboxed it and reviewed it. Um, doesn't move at all. I've got a TX race wheel with the GT rim, bought the GT rim extra, the old rim's up there. Um, I've done a, um, a workaround for not having a 3.5mm jack and wanting to use the HD60's chat cable. So if you use the HD60's chat cable on a wireless controller with the charger in you'll get massive feedback so you can't actually use it correctly so what I did was got myself a cheap wired Xbox One controller wired it into the back because for some reason the side it wasn't picking up the, the mic um, and then I routed the cable for the HD60 down the back so now all I do is when I want to use my headset I just plug my headset into there and it can record everyone else's party chat and then when I want to record my voice as well I plug in my blue snowball up there and everything is peachy so this has been Muddy Gamer if you've enjoyed this video please remember to like, comment and subscribe it really helps the channel grow and hopefully I shall see you in the next one